for, for every Hamas member that you kill, how many did you create? Mm -hmm. And if you create more than you kill, you've not succeeded. That's the, you know, the real situation there. Um, and it's safe to say that if, you know, um, if, you know, if, if you kill somebody's child in Gaza, you've, you've, you've made at least a few, uh, Hamas members who will die just to, just to kill an Israeli. In this video, Musk is claiming that for every child killed in Gaza, every person killed in Gaza, you're going to create a lot of Hamas members and people who will do everything they can to kill an Israeli. Now, at first glimpse, this appears to be very logical. However, I completely disagree with this logic. The reason is because according to that logic, the world would be in a perpetual state of war literally everywhere all the time. And this is, of course, not the case because according to Musk himself, an I eye for an eye would make everyone blind. blind. Furthermore, according to Musk logic here, every man, woman, child, parent, grandparent or whatnot in Israel who lost their loved ones on October 7th we do everything in their power to go and kill the Palestinian Arab. However, this is completely not the case, isn't it? If Musk's logic is correct, then we need to ask ourselves several questions. Why is it, for example, that Israel accepted the UN resolution in 1947 and did not initiate a war against the Palestinian Arabs? Why is it that after this war was initiated by all of Israel's neighbors, Israel still welcomed its Arab citizens to take part in the establishment of the new state? Why is it that after Egypt and Syria tried to obliterate Israel in 1973, Israel initiated peace treaty with Egypt and gave up the Sinai Desert? Bottom line here is this. Israel, like so many other countries in the world, understand that if you go by the logic of an eye for an eye, it truly will make the whole world blind. And thus, Israel did everything in its power to initiate peace with its neighbors. However, the same cannot be said about the Palestinians. Whenever they had an opportunity for peace, they did everything in their power to destroy it. The only way out of this completely terrible situation that we're in is for the Palestinians to understand that they have to find a different way out, that they have to accept Israel's existence as a Jewish state, and that they have to simply give up on their ambition to completely annihilate the state of Israel because this is not going to happen and that is the core issue.